Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how you can save money by adjusting the gas pressure on your natural gas or propane furnace. So let's get right into it. So in order to check the gas pressure on your furnace, you will need a few items. First and foremost is a manometer. Now this is the field piece manometer. It comes in a package and it comes with pretty much all the accessories that you'll need to check the gas pressure on either furnace that you have. But the connections here are different on certain furnaces. So we're gonna show you what exactly you'll need and how to do it. The other things you'll need are some Allen wrenches and a flat blade screwdriver. That's pretty much it. You can get as fancy or as simple as you want on the manometer. Um, you can find this on our Amazon store. We have a cheaper version as well as this field piece uh, manometer kit that comes with everything you'll need. A couple of things I like about the field piece is that it has a magnet that you can stick here. And this kit also comes with these probes so you can check the static pressure on your furnace, which is really nice as well. All right, so on your gas furnace, you'll notice this component right here, and this is the gas valve. Now, if you have a newer furnace, what you'll notice is these little um, nipples here with the plug inside with a little Allen head. This is your gas pressure coming in from the street, and this is your gas pressure going out to the manifold and into your burners. So this is the one that we're gonna be checking on this newer furnace. Now, if you have an older furnace, you'll notice that the inlet has a plug, a larger diameter Allen plug that you have to remove and physically thread in a fitting to check the gas pressure. But we're gonna show you how to do that in just a moment. We're gonna start by showing you how to check the gas pressure on a newer furnace that has these style fittings. So to start with, what we're gonna do is just make sure that the furnace is off you can either switch it off or unplug it. So that way nothing comes on when we hook our manometer up. But even if you do, um, if you leave this open for a couple of seconds just to attach it, it's not going to do any damage. All right, so the uh, field piece kit comes with this Allen wrench. It's a 330 seconds, just in case you didn't know. But I was able to get these Allen wrenches for like 15 bucks for both sets. So I'll make sure and leave that in the video description. So as we said, this is the outlet uh, port. So what we're gonna do is we're simply going to put our Allen wrench in and you do not need to take this plug out because you could easily lose it. It's really small. We just need to go maybe a half a turn. Just that is all is needed. Now, this is what's required to check this type of um, gas valve. And again, this comes with a field piece kit, but you can buy this separately. On any manometer, you will have this size port at the top. As you can see right here, um, these will just slide over. So you need an adapter because this will not slide over that. So this little adapter allows you to adapt a smaller hose to this larger one. And then all we're gonna do is slide this completely over and that's it. And then on the other end here, we just have this size that we're going to put on our actual manometer. All right, so now that that's connected, we're just gonna stick this to the top here, make sure that this isn't crimped. And we're gonna go ahead and turn on our gas furnace, set it to heat, and we'll see what our readings are here. Okay, so while we're waiting for our gas furnace to ignite, we wanna make sure that we're in inches water column. That's the proper uh, measurement that we're checking for here. I'd like to take just a second to talk about something that has saved me so much time and energy, and that is Jobber. Jobber is a customer relationship management software that allows me to keep track of customers, invoices, job requests. Uh, when I have to send my employee out to do a service call or a maintenance, I can have all of that information in one place and it makes keeping work separate very easy for me. A couple of features that I really love about Jobber is one, the request form, where if someone needs us to come and look at their equipment to do a repair, I send them a request form where they can fill out their name, address, email, what type of equipment they have, what problems they're having, and they simply hit submit and it saves on my end so I don't have to input any of that information. The other thing is scheduling. I can set a time and date for my employee to go and do a service call or a maintenance and it's seamless. I don't have to think about um, whether or not he knows about it because it auto syncs to his schedule. And again, it saves me so much time and energy. If you're interested in Jobber and you're in the service industry, check it out below in the video description where you can get a 14 day free, no obligations trial to see if Jobber is a good fit for your company. Let's get back into the video. 
Now the other thing we need to check is on the back of our data plate here, we'll notice that the parameters that we're after is stated in the panel. So if your furnace requires like three and a half to 3.8 inches of water column, that's what we're gonna adjust it to. For this particular one, it calls for 1.3 to 1.8 inches of water column. Now, being as this is just a test furnace, we're gonna just adjust it to our higher pressure here. But if you want to save money and you're running this on a uh, daily basis in your home, um, you can adjust it to this lower pressure so as to save on your gas consumption. So we heard our inducer just came on. Next thing we'll notice is our igniter will glow red. And then as soon as this gas valve turns on, we'll see what our gas pressure is here. So as you can see, we're at 1.73. Doing the adjustment is very easy. You'll notice that there's a brass cap right here. Now, if you have a single stage furnace, you'll notice there's one of these. And if you have a two stage furnace, you'll notice two of these brass caps. So what you can do is when you bump the thermostat up one degree, you can check your first stage, which it will show that um, what that reading should be on your panel. And then once it kicks it into second stage, you can check it on the other one. So for this one, it's a, a single stage furnace. We're just gonna remove this little brass cap here. And inside you'll notice a little white flathead fitting. Now if we notice, I'm gonna turn this a little bit to the right and notice what happens with our um, inches water column. We instantly went up quite a bit and if I go up you'll notice the furnace uh, getting louder as those burners are letting in more pressure. And as we go down, it gets really quiet. So we're gonna turn this up to about 1.8. And that's it. It's as easy as that to check the gas pressure on a newer furnace. So we're go we'll go ahead and put this cap back on and show you how to remove this. And then we're gonna show you how to do this on an older furnace as well. All right, so it's important to note that you don't wanna just turn off the switch or the outlet or unplug the outlet to turn the furnace off because that won't allow for the heat exchanger to cool off naturally. And you could actually potentially crack the heat exchanger. So two things you can do, you can turn your gas valve off or you can just go up to the thermostat and turn the thermostat off and the fan will still run allowing the heat exchanger to cool naturally. So now that our gas valve and, and everything is off, we're simply gonna take this off and we're gonna tighten this back and this job is complete. All right, so this is my older 80% gas furnace. What we're gonna do to start with is we're just gonna take this cover off. Now you'll notice on this gas valve that right here we have our inlet plug. There's an Allen key right there. And again, you know that this is the inlet because it's on the side where your gas is coming in. And then if you look to the right, on the side where the manifold comes out here, you'll notice our outlet plug there. So this is the plug we're gonna remove. Again, make sure the furnace is off when you remove this plug, and we're gonna show you what's needed to check it on this furnace. I don't believe the field piece comes with this larger Allen head, so you will need that if you do buy the field piece. And just for reference, this is a 530 seconds. So that's what the plug looks like. As you can see, it's much larger in diameter. So we're gonna set that aside, make sure you don't lose it. And the field piece will come with this fitting and it's very easy. We're just gonna thread this in. You don't need to put any sealant or anything, just thread it in. You don't even have to tighten this with a wrench. You can just hand tighten it and you're totally fine because the pressure that we're dealing with here is very minimal. So we notice right here our minimum and max inlet pressure. That's actually what's coming in from the street. And then we notice right here, our manifold pressure, that's what we're after. So 3.2 to 3.8 inches of water column. So we just heard our inducer kick on. We'll see that um, igniter come on and then our gas valve will uh, let the gas in. So we're at 3.85. So we can definitely tone this down a little bit, which will do two things. It'll mean less gas is being sent into the furnace, 
which will save you money and it will also quiet down this furnace. You'll notice like our other one, this one is pretty, pretty loud down here and I can actually hear this upstairs when it kicks on. So we'll turn that down and you'll notice the burners will get a little bit quieter. So same thing here, we're just gonna take off this brass cap. Now another thing to take into consideration is the size of your home. I actually think that this furnace is oversized for our home. Um, we're at like 800 square feet, so this really should have been a 40,000 BTU furnace. So you can go on the, on the lower end of the gas pressure if that's the case. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna turn it counterclockwise. You can hear it getting quieter. go 3.25 right in there you notice how much quieter the gas furnace is now so that's gonna have again multiple benefits so it's as easy as that we're gonna put our cap back on turn the furnace off and uh, put our plug back in well guys it's as that simple to save money by adjusting the gas pressure on your gas furnace I hope you found this video informative now if you're curious about what this apparatus is on my furnace Normally, if you look at your furnace, you'll see a light switch. So if you're curious about what this is, it's a way that you can get power to your furnace in the event of a power outage where you do still have gas and you can power your furnace. So if you're curious in how to do that, check that video out right here and we'll show you how cheap and easy it is to be prepared in the event of an emergency. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.